Wildcats. Today is Thursday, December 15th, and on this episode, we've got all the news you need to know, plus a brand new segment. That's all coming right up, but first, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. This year, our school is partnering up with the Anti-Defamation League to become a designated no place for hate. Check out this commercial explaining a little bit more about this initiative. No Place for Hate makes my campus a more friendly and enjoyable place. It's created a climate of respect and compassion that we can be very, very proud of here. Any student in grades 7 through 12 who is interested in joining the No Place for Hate Committee should come to the next meeting on Tuesday, December 20th, after school in room C27. See Ms. Polina with any questions. Send someone a singing telegram this holiday season. They are $5 and will be delivered by the entire choir during B Block next week. All you have to do is choose a song and rewrite the lyrics. Here's an example. You're a mean one. Mr. Diamond, he's an admin on the loose. His heart is full of children's tears. Let us introduce Mr. Diamond. He's really not bad. He's just a silly Order forms are due this Friday. See Miss Seidelman or Miss Vitarelli with any questions. Get ready for Winter Spirit Week next week. The dress up days for the junior high are Monday is Character Day, Tuesday is Sports Slash Jersey Day, Wednesday is Dress Like a Personality Day, Thursday is Awkward Family Photo Day, and Friday is Pajama Day. It's a competition between the 7th and 8th graders, so be sure to dress up each day and help your class win. And there will be a pep rally next Thursday during G and H block. Do you need extra help in math or language arts? Tutoring is available for 8th grade language arts and 7th grade math today after school in the library. Attention junior high. The junior high student government is selling holiday grams. They are $2 each or 3 for $5. See any student government members to purchase. And the Holly Ball Dance is this Friday. Dress in your festive best for the semi-formal occasion and see who gets crowned for the 8th grade court. Now let's go to Shane, who has what's on our lunch menu today. All right, so today, December 15th, we got turkey BLT panini, spicy chicken beef chunks, barbecue pulled pork, and some pizza, Wing King to be exact, and your choice of milk. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> Sounds great. Mini Thumb members are holding a holiday gift wrapping fundraiser this weekend. It's on Saturday, December 17th. In bring in your gifts to be wrapped from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the auditorium. It's $2 per gift or a flat fee of 20 bucks for 10 to 15 gifts. The Model United Nations Club still needs your new or gently used socks for their sock drive. The socks will be distributed to homeless shelters this holiday season. What's happening with our winter sports teams? Let's go to Chris for the details. Girls basketball and bowling have a game today at 3.45. Go Wildcats. Now for today's segment, our reporters wanted to know what is the dumbest way you've gotten injured. Let's take a look at some of your answers. You got that birthday. No. I was riding my bike one time and I got ran over. My foot got ran over by a car. I tripped over my dog and fell down the steps. I was running around. When I fell over, I hit a pole. And then I got up, I hit a tree. I fell out of the school bus. Uh, I lit a ping pong ball on fire, and I didn't think it was going to explode. Ex it exploded, and my hand uh, burned. Come on, Rock. Trampoline. I was jumping. I was backing up, and my foot went through the springs. I was, like, upside down. It was crazy. Trampolines are the devil. I fell down the stairs because I stepped on a Lego. Uh, I did theater back in high school, and I actually fell off the stage. So uh, I jumped off a roof and I didn't think it was that high. Uh, I'm here with Rachel. What's the dumbest way you've gotten hurt, Rachel? I'm not answering that question. You're answering the question. <laughs> okay, Sean. She was girl. pushed by her older brother uh -huh. into the couch and split her head open. <laughs> Finally, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Ahmed Abaghamam. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. From all of us in the TV studio, thanks for watching and have a tremendous Thursday.